everybody. Last week we had a dog show in Kitchener, Ontario at Bingham's, the Wildwood Kennel Club. It was a, it was a four day event over Canada's Thanksgiving weekend and it had an unlimited entry, so it had a big entry for, for us anyway. And it seemed like everything we tried, somebody complained and the protocols changed. Dean Dennis, who was in charge of it all, my hats go off to Dean, because Dean really worked very hard all weekend long to pull off this event. We changed venues, he did everything he could to make it work for us, and then we got into a more restrictive protocols where it was, just, it was we had to line up, it was, it was a lot of work. But it seemed every time they changed the protocols, Dean would call a meeting and we'd all get together and we would find a way to jump those hurdles and make sure the show happened. So it was really good that, to see that type of uh, camaraderie. So that brings us to uh, this week's top 10. Uh, it was compiled by the Home Office in Copacoc, Ontario. The top 10 reasons why the dog community is really a family. Number 10, everybody knows everybody else's business. Number nine, we may argue, but when, when, when somebody's in trouble, the rest of us have their back. Number eight, we accept anyone. Number seven, there's always some kind of drama going on. Number six, someone is always getting grounded. Number five, there's always that one weird ant that we think is crazy. Number four, no matter what, there's always one troublemaker, if not more. Number three, jealousy rears its ugly head, just like in the Brady Bunch. J Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> Number two, instead of a dog show, we could call it Peyton Place. And the number one reason why the dog community is really a family, when life hands us lemons, we make lemon twist martinis. Till next week.